Okay, so I'm going to start off with my most recent purchase. So I ended up getting this Chanel backpack. Y'all, isn't it so cute? I feel like this is just a statement piece, okay? So initially, um, so I'm just now getting into the Chanel gang, okay? Right, so initially I was on a hunt for a backpack um, like for my first Chanel purchase, but they don't make backpacks like that anymore, which is crazy. So I was like bummed out because I really wanted a backpack. I think it's really cute. I like little small backpack bags you can put on your back, easy to go. One day the shopper I shot with, he uploaded this backpack and I was like, oh my God, I want this. I want this backpack. Instantly, I wrote him. I was like, I'm ready. Give me it. Because I knew it was going to go fast. I was like, oh my God, I need this. Like, I want it. Give me it. Run my card. Because he had my card information already. D. Charles. If y'all know D. Charles. Hey, what's up? He's like the best shopper in Atlanta. Whatever. But anyway, so, so he ran my card and grew up this bag. I do not regret this purchase. Okay, so this retailed for $3,900 and then plus tax, it was $4,247.10. So I do not regret this at all. It looks so cute on display from my closet. And I just think it's so cute. I love the chain on here. I love the gold hardware. It is like the small size. I didn't want the big one because I just don't want a big ass backpack. So, and it does have plenty space in here. And then it's adjustable right here. So if you wanted to like close it and make sure nothing pops out. But with the flap over it, it doesn't, nothing flops out. I haven't had any issues with this bag. I'm just really trying to keep up with my bags. I don't want them to get dirty or anything. So every time I bring in my bag from being outside, I wipe it down. And they say like this leather is like the best leather for like a Chanel because the other like patent leathers and stuff, you can really see like the scratches, the fingerprints and all that and I really didn't want that. And then also it does have like a little flap back here. So like easy access to like cards, ID, especially when you're in the airport, just really grab it. And it's really snug in there too. And I just think this backpack is so cute, y'all. It's so cute. I love it. I love it so much. I couldn't pass it up because they don't make backpacks anymore. So basically the backstory of this was, I guess in Paris, they started to send um, all the backpacks they had to the United States and they obviously had some um, here in Atlanta. So I had to hop on it to add to my collection. And obviously Chanel bags do not depreciate. So they only go up in value. So I feel like my Chanel purchases will be investments. And also, I won't even like, I probably won't even sell them. Like one day I'm gonna have a daughter or something, girl. And I want her to be able to wear, like I wanna be able to pass down my bags to her. And I know these are gonna be like vintage and like worth something. So, so yeah. And then it has two straps on the back and it is adjustable. So if you're like, tall or short or whatever you can adjust it so yeah i do not regret this purchase i love it so much so cute she cute she's cute so the next purchase that i got is another chanel -y. so y'all this was the first chanel bag i ever purchased so d charles posted this on his story again and i just thought this was like a cute color like to start off with i did want to start off with the classic black for my first Chanel, but he's this Tiffany blue. I felt like this was like a tap. So yeah, this was on pre-order. So I went up to the store and he was like, oh, all you have to do is make a $2,000 deposit. And I was like, oh, so this is like gonna be like a payment plan. I was like, I can do that. I can do that for my little first chanel -y. This, I had to pay 2,000 and it took a couple weeks for it to come in. And then I had to pay another 2,000 cause the total of this was $4,000. So, yeah girl i just feel like this is such a statement piece i love it so much i just been really into blue lately so this really stands out i just love it this is a small chanel and this one was four thousand it has a long strap on it and then i shorten it most of the time and it still has the paper in here so i can hold its um, shape I just tuck it in and you can also put a ribbon on here to uh, adjust the strap so it can be like short, like a little cute top handle. I really like that. A pocket back here, really snug so it's easy access to it so you don't gotta keep going like this. That's too much work for me sometimes, okay? So I just put my ID in the back, okay? This was my first Chanel purchase. My first Chanel purchase, I'll never forget it. I don't regret it at all 
because I've been wearing this like crazy. I don't care. I'm gonna wear it. I bought my Chanel's to wear. Okay, so I'm gonna wear them. Need this size in every color. I really want green. I really want green next. And this Chanel size is like a nice size, but I think medium would do me good. I do have the big flat one. That one is kind of big, like kind of too big sometimes. And also comment down below if you want me to make like a video on um, what I put in my dream bag because that is my dream bag. So. But yeah, I really love this bag. It's so cute. It's such a statement. And I really want to dip. I wanted to dip more into colors because I have a lot of black bags. I have a lot. So recently, I just started purchasing like colored bags. I'm so happy I have this color. It's so pretty. So, so yeah, my first Chanel purchase. Tiffany Blue.